I guess after that experience, as, we, as you mentioned, when Sachi's Kitchen was born, so what were some of the struggles that you faced in those early days of starting this business? Oh, a lot. Yeah. A lot. Um, one thing is I'm very perfectionist by nature, um, which is good and bad. Um, <laughs> what I learned, one thing what I learned was I didn't trust other people that they can do better than that I can. So hence that I did everything by myself. I didn't do dedicating stuff to other people. I was bad at doing those. And ended up, because I wanted to do everything by myself, ended up <laughs> corrupting in one day during the class. So I was in front of customers and teaching people how to cook and I felt so ill and within the five minutes I was on the floor wow. and a lot of people say that oh you have to slow down, you have to trust other people, you have to dedicate other stuff, you know, things to other staff members. I wasn't listening to other people so um, I, le I learned the hard way that I actually needed to dedicate and then the lesson that I learned from that accident or instant was if other people can do 80% of what I can, isn't it good enough? Yeah, yeah. That's what my husband said. And I said, yeah, that's good enough. Then I can pick up 20. Yeah, okay. I can pick up 20. Right, okay. So from that day onward, yeah. um, I started to learn how to trust other people, which means my staff member, yeah. and just dedicate the things that I can, you know, pass down to my staff member to, yeah finish the job okay. and then I just need to oversee and then if there is any gap that I just need to fill in okay. yeah. and yeah okay fantastic so that was a big thing yeah. <laughs> and for having gone through that whole I guess startup process of of starting a company what other lessons do you think you would pass on to other entrepreneurs and people starting businesses from what you've learned as well mm, I would say um, dream big I've been forced to dream bigger whatever I write on a dream board I tick every one of them yeah. Yeah, so I was dreamed to force bigger yeah, yeah. and then um, one day my uh, mentor was telling me, Sachi, there is a power of writing. Do you, have you ever heard of that, power of writing? And um, he goes, whatever you write, if you believe in it, it will happen. And I never trusted him and say, oh, if that is that easy yeah. to make the dream come true, everyone, you know, everyone else will do it and they start writing what they want. Yeah. He goes, okay, you just do that one for me and then prove me I'm wrong. And that's what he said. Okay. So I did that one day. I listed all the things that I wanted to have in my life. So he said, a dream, a year ahead. Yeah. And I write it down a diary okay. describing how you see a year later of you. Yep. So I said, I wanted to get engaged, I want to get married, I want to get a new business, I wanted to... Uh, live in a new apartment and all sorts five things yeah. and then I kind of forgot about it and a year later when I moved the house I opened a box and I found a book which I was writing 100 times and I started to read the diary and then uh, amazing that it's before the dates I stated it's actually got it yeah, yeah. everything awesome. one of them has got achieved so since then I believe in the power of the writing yeah. so I got forced to dream bigger. Now that I have four by six meter dream board, okay. um, half with my husband's, half with mine, yeah. and then whatever I feel like wanting to do or uh, whatever I wanted to have, I just start writing and then it just starts happening. What would you say, like what quality of mind or state of mind do you think is best served during your success? So for example, some people have interviewed have said like resilience or passion, what would that state of mind be for you? Passion and focus. Okay. So focusing on one thing and doing that really well? Passion, find your passion and follow your dream. Yep. Yeah, I'll rule that, yeah. Okay. Find a passion and follow your dream. Okay. So to finish off, uh, Sachi, can you please look down this camera here and yes. tell us, what are your wise words for the people of New Zealand? Well, people in New Zealand, I would say, whatever you feel like you wanted to do, or if you have a passion and that you have a dream, follow your dream so that you don't have any regrets. That's how I would say. Great, Sachi, thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>